Hey guys, it's Derek here with Jcon Systems. You know, I've got to say, I never really pictured myself as an electronics guy. I've always been more of a business guy. Uh, I graduated in 2004 with a degree in business from Colorado State University, and I never really pictured myself doing electronics. But here I am, and I'm loving it. So thank you, Jcon Systems. Um, here we are. Uh, today we have an Arduino Uno, and uh, we're not focusing on the Arduino Uno. What we're actually focusing on is the kit that we have put together. Let's take a look at that. So we open up a kit here and inside the box we have an electrostatic package and inside that package we have the kit components. Let's get all these little guys out of here. Come on guys. Wait on the capacitors. Now switch. All right. So let's take a look at all the all the pieces here. All right, so we have the microprocessor. This is the Atmega 328P, which is also found on the Arduino Uno. We have a capacitor, and the capacitor is going to be hooked up to the momentary switch for the reset. And this is the momentary switch for the reset. We have a couple of resistors here. We have a 10K and we also have a 330 resistor. We have an LED. And inside this bag here we have decoupling capacitors and we also have 16 megahertz crystal. So those are all the components. Let's put these in the breadboard and see what it looks like. And we actually have a breadboard pre-made for you. So let's take a look at this. So we've taken all of our parts and we put the parts inside the breadboard and we've put them all together for you. So we had the microprocessor here. Connected to the microprocessor, we had the 16 megahertz crystal and we had the decoupling capacitors as well as we have the momentary push button switch. We have the resistor set up over here, the 10K, and we have a 0.1 UF capacitor on this side. Up here, we have the 330 resistor and that is obviously, that's connected to the LED. And we have our jumper wire set up. On here we have the power going to the processor and power down here going to the processor. And we have our jumper wires connected to our FTDI board. Uh, you can also find that on jconsystems.com. And this guy connects the power and gets the signal from our computer. And we go to the Arduino software, click the play button, and we're just running the blink LED example. In a few short seconds, we're going to be blinking the LED. Let's see what happens. On cue, just like it's supposed to, blinking LED. Well, that's it for today. We will be coming back to you very soon with some more fun videos to take a look at. 